say the journey of agricultural product from field to our plates is filled with logistical hurdles while we take for granted the abundance of fresh fruits vegetables and other produce a significant portion is lost or suffers spoilage due to inefficiencies in the agricultural supply chain the percentage of crop loss in india due to insufficient logistics or inefficient logistics is 30 to 40% while worldwide this figure is at 13% the inefficiencies in logistics start with a lack of cold storage facilities which account for around 20% of the loss followed by inefficient transportation at 10 to 12% inadequate infrastructure at farm level like packing and pre-cooling at 8 to 10% and traffic and poor road condition at 7% in today's episode of logistically speaking i will help you understand the common struggle that agriculture produce go through across the world to reach our plates the agricultural sector is a vital component of the global economy providing food raw material and employment for billions of people however the logistics involved in transporting agricultural products from farms to consumers are fraught with challenges that significantly impact the efficiency, cost and sustainability of the food supply chain. In India, this sector employs 43% of population, making it crucial to discuss the inefficiencies and find solutions. Let me talk about some factors contributing to inefficiency in agricultural logistics. Number 1 infrastructure deficiencies one of the most pressing challenges in agricultural logistic is inadequate infrastructure many rural areas where most agricultural activities take place suffer from poor road condition limited rail network and insufficient storage facilities according to the world bank around 80% of the world's rural roads are in poor condition affecting timely and efficient transportation of agricultural product for example in sub-saharan africa only 34 percent of the rural population lives within two kilometers of an old season road this lack of infrastructure leads to high transportation costs and significant post harvest losses the food and agriculture organization estimate that post harvest losses in sub-saharan africa can reach up to 20 percent of cereals and 50 percent for fruits and vegetables due to inadequate infrastructure and poor logistics number two cold chain management perishable agricultural products such as fruits vegetables dairy and meat require an efficient cold chain to maintain their quality and safety from farm to table a cold chain is a temperature controlled supply chain that includes refrigerated storage and transportation however many developing countries lack the necessary infrastructure and technology to establish and maintain an effective cold chain for instance india one of the largest producers of fruits and vegetables loses around 30 to 40 percent of its produce due to non-availability or inefficiency of the cold chain this results in an economic loss of approximately 13 billion dollars annually for india the lack of refrigerated trucks cold storage facilities and uninterrupted power supply are significant barriers to establishing a robust cold chain in such regions indian cold storage facilities are centered around a few states as you can see from the screen showing the percentage of facilities in major states Unfortunately, these are used for limited type of agricultural products and are not able to cover the requirement of the nation. For example, potatoes take up 68% of cold storage facilities in UP and 90% in case of West Bengal, while in Maharashtra, 50 to 60% of cold chain facilities are used for grapes and mangoes. Number three, regulatory and policy issues. Agricultural logistics are also hindered by complex and inconsistent regulatory frameworks. Different countries have varying regulations regarding the transportation, storage and export of agricultural products. These regulations can create bottlenecks and delays in the supply chain. In the European Union, for example, strict cytosanitary regulations require through inspections and documentation for import of agricultural products. 
while these regulations aim to prevent the spread of pests and diseases they can also lead to delays and increase cost for exporters similarly in many developing countries cumbersome custom procedures and a lack of harmonization in standards can significantly slow down movement of agricultural goods number 4 packaging and warehousing unlike cold chain warehouses where 90% is controlled by private companies in india general warehousing for food grains is 65% in government warehouses quality packaging and warehousing efficiency which is vital component in logistics do not get prioritized here quality issues like the lack of vacuum packing scientific storage practices like moisture control automated aeration and advanced pest control methods are missing in most of these warehousing facilities in india number 5 seasonality and demand fluctuations agricultural production is inherently seasonal with harvest periods often concentrated in specific months This seasonality creates logistical challenges in terms of storage and transportation capacity. During peak harvest season, there is a surge in the volume of product that need to be transported and stored leading to potential bottlenecks and increased cost. For example, in Brazil, the world's largest producer of soya beans, the harvest season from February to May sees a massive influx of soya beans that need to be transported to ports for export. the lack of sufficient storage facilities and the congestion at ports and on highways can lead to significant delays and increase logistics cost the inefficiencies in the soya bean supply chain are estimated to cost brazil around 2 billion dollars annually similarly in india post harvest loss of onions is 70000 crore indian rupee to 85000 crore since 25% is lost due to inefficiencies in logistics number 6 technological barriers in the past farming was something that did not require any skill and generations continued the same methodology without adding skills and relied on traditional knowledge now even farming has changed where knowledge and skill are the key to success knowledge of climate soil new crop and fast to market logistics all play a vital role the adoption of advanced logistics technologies such as gps tracking automated warehousing and data analytics is essential for improving the efficiency and transparency of agricultural supply chain however many agricultural producers particularly small holder farmer farmers lack access to these technologies due to high cost and limited technical expertise in regions like southeast asia where small holder farmers dominate agricultural production the adoption of digital technologies remain low according to a report by mckinsey only about 25% of small holder farmers in the region use digital tools for farming and logistics this digital divide hampers the ability to optimize logistic operation leading to inefficiencies and increased cost number 7 environmental and climate challenges climate change and environmental factors pose significant risk to agricultural logistics extreme weather events such as floods droughts and hurricanes can disrupt transportation network and damage infrastructure additionally climate change can affect the timing and location of agricultural production further complicating logistics planning for instance The 2019 floods in the Midwest United States severely impacted the transportation of agricultural products. The floods damaged roads, railways and storage facilities leading to delays and increased transportation costs for farmers. Similarly in Australia, prolonged droughts can have affected production and transportation of grains leading to increased logistic challenges and cost. Number 8, labor shortages. The agriculture sector often faces labor shortage particularly during peak season. The COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated this issue as travel restrictions and health concerns limited the availability of migrant labor which many agriculture sectors rely on. Labor shortages can delay harvesting and transportation leading to increased cost and reduced product quality. For example, the United Kingdom 
The agriculture sector faced a severe labor shortage during COVID-19 pandemic with an estimated 70,000 to 80,000 workers needed to harvest crop. This shortage led to significant losses for farmers and increased price for consumer due to the reduced supply of fresh produce. The logistics challenges in the agricultural sector are multifaceted and complex impacting the efficiency, cost and sustainability of the food supply chain. Addressing these challenges require a coordinated effort from government, private sector, stakeholders and international organizations. Investments in infrastructure, cold chain technology, regulatory reforms, digital tools and climate resilience are crucial to improving agricultural logistics and ensuring a stable and sustainable food supply chain for the global population. If there can be a value addition like pasteurization of milk, mango pulp making, processing crops like potatoes and freezing them for direct to store from origin etc. is possible. Near the farm location, the loss of crops can be reduced. Even simple solutions like farm tourism, where visitors can get a chance to be involved in harvesting, experience plucking of fruits and crops and buy them can help in creating a situation of direct to customer scenario which can help in field to plate. Through collaborative efforts and innovative solutions, the agricultural sector can overcome these logistics challenges and continue to feed the world. Well, thank you for watching till the end and I hope this episode on agricultural logistics has helped you to understand the complexities and solutions related to food logistics. Thank you and see you next time.